Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox, and this is a Barbie lunchbox. You know how we watch the news and we see events like the hurricanes that just happened, and we notice that people are running around, scurrying around at the last minute, buying things like water and batteries and generators and plywood and milk and oh me, oh my, and supplies run out. Prices get jack sky high, supplies run out, people panic because they don't have what they need. Wouldn't it be better just to buy what you needed, get what you needed in advance so that you don't have to panic, you don't have to contend with the panic masses? Today I'm going to talk about radiological disasters, nukes going off and such and what you can do to prepare. This, as I said, is a Barbie lunchbox. I think it was my daughter's back in the day, and you know, because we're bourgeois consumers, we got them a new lunchbox every year that they went to public schools. Um, if kids even still carry lunchboxes anymore, I'm quite sure you can get last year's lunchbox for about a quarter or 50 cents. We have one of these boxes in every one of our vehicles. I just ran out and got this one out of my vehicle for this video. What's in the lunchbox, you say? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's look, shall we? Ta-da! This is in case we get caught away from home and there's a radiation coming for us, right? In the form of fallout, a nuclear power plant, you know, meltdown caused by whatever. Kim launches his nukes that everyone's talking about. Iran, you know, whatever, man. Terrorist. Probably the most important thing in here is this. This is a bottle of KiO3 potassium iodate anti-radiation pills. You can get it at campingsurvival.com. And what you do with these is you take them in advance of the radiation hitting you. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But they're basically, when you know you're going to get bombarded with radiation, you need to start taking these pills. Everybody does. So they're in there. Can you see that? I have five N95 masks. Because here's the deal. Radiation comes down in the form of uh, fallout, right? It comes down... Um, it's like very fine sand or talcum powder and it falls out of the sky. You don't want to breathe it in because if you breathe it in, now it's in your lungs going dee -dee 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 -dee, and it's irradiating your body. You want to keep what's on the outside on the outside. And so put one of these on um, duct tape so we can seal up the car, seal up, you know, the clothing that I'm about to show you, that kind of thing. Seal up, seal up, seal up, keep the radiation out, fall out, out. And then because I'm not super rich, um, I bought a bunch of these, and I have three kids, I bought a bunch of these hooded ponchos, which are cheap. And the thought behind these is, um, put it on, seal it up to the best you can to keep the radiation, the fallout, out of your hair, unless you have hair like PJ. But you know, I have girls and stuff, I, I guess I gotta keep it out of my beard. Um, you don't want that stuff stuck in there and then radiating, de -dee, de -dee, de -dee, emitting you know, radiation into your body. And so we put these on, tape up the seams, and go. You know, I can't afford to buy um, Tyvek suits you know, for everybody to stick in every vehicle. But if you can get like a Tyvek suit that already has the booties on it and the hood on it, and, and you, know, you can get enough of them for everyone in your family and put them in all the vehicles, hey, good for you, man, go for it. There's always a better way to do something but this is a pretty good little kit that I could put together in numbers uh, to stick in all our cars. So, let's talk more about potassium iodide, because it really is important. Here's what happens. When people are exposed to radiation, what happens is radioactive iodide comes into one's thyroid, and it, and it, it kind of lodges in there, right? and then it creates thyroid cancer later. In fact, of all the types of cancer you can get, the cancer that people get almost exclusively and in great numbers when exposed to radiation is thyroid cancer. And so what you wanna do, it's a pretty simple process. You flood your thyroid with enough iodine so that it's full capacity of iodine, 
and radioactive iodine cannot get in. It's that simple. Um, one kind of iodine that you can flood your body with is potassium iodate. Another kind is potassium iodide. What's the difference, you may ask? Well, initially, uh, potassium iodide is, is what the thing was. That's what they stock. They probably still stock it around nuclear reactors in, in a form like this to pass out to the population. And then the shelf life on this is pretty good, like five to ten years it'll last. The shelf life of potassium iodide, which works, which works just as well, is much longer, right? So it's more stable in heat and high humid environments. Um, and so, you know, pick whichever one you want. The people, the good people at CampingSurvival.com have provided a range of products. There's potassium iodide, potassium iodide in different forms, and I'm going to kind of talk about that now. I have to put my cheaters on though. You can get the potassium iodide, the, the KIO3, in either 170 milligram tablets or 85 milligram tablets. What's the difference, you may ask? Dosing. And it, dosing is written on the bottles. Basically, what you want to do is start taking your anti radiation pills six to 12 hours before you're actually exposed to radiation. Um, you're, you're depending on the government to tell you when that radiation is coming, right? It'll still work if you take it, you know, as soon as you find out you're, you're in a radioactive environment. And you basically then take them until authorities tell you to stop, but it's about 7 to 14 days, or, or until you clear the area, right? Um, which, if you're in a car, you can do. But you want to flood your thyroid with potassium iodide or iodate. Um, the iodine is what you're trying to get. And so for an adult, with these right here are the 170 milligram tablets. An adult, 12 years or older, you take one tablet every day. And then if you're a child, 3 to 12, you take half a tablet. And if you're a child, 1 to 3, you take a quarter tablet. And if you're, you know, a newborn, you take an eighth of a tablet. How in the heck are you going to do that? That's where this comes in. It's a smaller dosage. And so an adult, 12 to, you know, 12 to me, <laughs> takes two tablets. A 3 to 12-year-old takes one tablet. A 1-month to 3-year-old takes half a tablet. And then a quarter tablet goes to the bambino, right, the newborn. How does a, a little child take a tablet, whether it's a quarter tablet or a half a tablet or whatever, What you do is you, you measure the tablet, then you crush it up, and you can stick it in their juice or their milk or whatever and, and let them ingest it that way. But you take one dose a day until authorities tell you to stop or um, about 7 to 14 days. I'm not a doctor. I'm not pretending to be a doctor. You have to do your own research on this, but I'll tell you this. The FDA has approved this stuff. Matter of fact, they have stuff like this stockpiled at nuclear reactors and in communities around nuclear reactors in case there's a, a tragedy. Um, the plan is to hand them all out so everybody gets their pills. How do you think that's going to go? Do you think you're going to get yours? <sighs> you know, it's not that I don't trust the government, but I think they're going to be a little busy. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to have mine now. This stuff is not very expensive at all. It provides great peace of mind. And again, these are, are smaller doses. You can, you can cut them up, crush them up, whatever, for children. You, know, you have options at CampingSurvival.com. They'll let you pick what you want. How do I display this in a lovely manner? Go check them out. Get yours today. Buy enough for your friends and family. You know, hand them out. They're, again, these will store easy, right? Shh. Keep them cool, keep them dark, keep them dry, yeah, and you're good to go. Stick them in a Ziploc bag, put them in your basement, right? When the time comes, hand them out, you'll be the hero. Um, but this is the kind of thing that the government is storing all over the place. They don't want to hand them out early because they're afraid people will do stupid things with them. You cannot take this, start, you know, here, big old bottle, start taking one a day because we're worried Kim might launch a nuke at us. It doesn't work that way. Uh, six to 12 hours is as early as you want to start, and then you continue through the emergency is what you do. Um, and I highly recommend you get this. I said earlier that the government will tell you when to start taking it, you know, when radiation is hitting your area. 
I'm thinking they may be a little busy. <laughs> they may forget to tell you. <laughs> the radio they plan on talking over may not work. You know, something like that. And so to that end, I also got my family one of these bad boys. It's called a Nuke Alert. And this is a monitor and alert system for radiation. And I don't know if you can hear it. It has a slight click, click. Let's see if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that or not. That shows it's working. And then on the back of it, it has a chart and it comes with great directions and basically at different levels of radiation this thing starts making different noises from chirps to fast chirps to whales sirens depending on how um, how strong the radiation is let's you in on a little secret your government carries these you'll see them on different police officers and you'll see them in airports because if they go buy something radioactive, they want to know about it most ricky tick. What about you? If radiation is coming to your area, do you want to know about it pretty quick? This will measure as little as 0.1 rads an hour. That's very little radiation. To 50 plus rads an hour, it goes crazy if it's, you know, if it's emitting that much radiation. Again, the directions are with it. They tell you things, you know, how much rads do you want to be exposed to over what a period of time and, and things like that. Um, this bad boy here costs less than $200, right around $200, though. I think it's $199 something. Um, for me, this is peace of mind. It's waterproof. It's bombproof. The battery lasts for at least 10 years. If you have a problem with it, there's a great warranty. Um, it comes with this little thing so you can hook it to your keychain if you want to carry it all the time. What I'm going to do, quite honestly, I'm not going to carry this all the time around Shofar Mountain, but I'm going to have it available. If times get sketchy, yeah, I'm going to get it out. If I go on a trip, I'm going to take it with me, um, just to be sure. It's a pretty small little package for peace of mind for radiation, and if I start finding out that we're in a radioactive situation, I've got all these bad boys right here in different forms that I can take or give to my grandkids or, you know, my kids or whatever. Um, the whole purpose of this video is not to scare you. It's really to give you peace of mind. You know when a nuke goes off or when a, a, a reactor, for whatever reason, melts down and you're downwind, you're going to want this. And the government's going to be handing it out, sort of. That's the plan. People are going to panic. Wouldn't it be nice if you already had yours? And I'm telling you, this stuff is cheap enough. You can buy it now, throw it in your different cars, keep some at work, keep some at home, keep some at grandma's. Go check them out at CampingSurvival.com. I'll put a link down below. Um, consider getting yourself a, a monitor and an alarm for radiation. Consider getting yourself some anti-radiation pills. Read up on it yourself. Um, it's a real deal. This isn't like snake oil stuff. Um, do your own research on it. CampingSurvival.com. They're my friends. They can be your friends too. All right. I hope you never need it. But I hope if you do need it, you have it. I'll see you out there.